friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I have an extra special wash day for you because I'm bringing in one of my favorite curl friends. Hi, Felicia. Hey, everyone. I'm so excited. I finally get to collaborate with Bianca. You guys have asked, and we get to finally give it to you. Yeah, uh, Felicia is another curly hair expert. She's like the DIY master. She has all the curly hair tips. And you guys always tag us together on Instagram. So I live in California. You're in what, North Carolina? <laughs> North Carolina. Yeah, so we have to ask questions. Exactly. No all the time. So we have to say a huge thank you to Shea Moisture for bringing us together. We are partnering with Suave Dove and Shea Moisture today to do a wash day live to show you our wash routine live for you. And we're also going to answer a lot of your curly hair questions that you asked us on Instagram. Yes. All right. I don't about you, but I'm excited to share some of their new products because I've been loving incorporating them into my routine because you guys know I've been doing curl rehab. So whenever I find something that has ingredients that I love, I like to share it with you guys. Yes. And some of the new products that are definitely new to me are the new Shea Moisture Power Greens line. So I tried their Moringa and Avocado with Kale Matcha Green, al uh, green Algae. These are all like very Cali ingredients. Like everything we use has avocado and like matcha. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, so I used their shampoo, and then I also did the Power Greens Hair Tea Rinse, and then I ended it with the Power Greens Reconstructor Mask. What did you use? Ooh, well, I actually did a little cocktail for our happy hour, and I paired the Power Greens line with an OG, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo, but I really like that this tea rinse has matcha in it, and you guys know I'm all about my tea rinses for shine, so I loved that I could pair this with the other products that I already love. Yeah, definitely. So as many of you know, I'm really big on ingredients. And when I choose a shampoo, I want it to be sulfate free. So it's not stripping our hair from being too dry. Curls need that extra moisture. So with the Power Green shampoo, it's for weak, dull and coily hair, color safe, sulfate free. And it just makes my hair so shiny, has a nice lather and it doesn't make my hair dry. And then after I rinsed off the shampoo, I then applied the Power Greens hair tea rinse also to give my hair that extra shine and then I left it in and then applied my hair mask. I am going through a little bit of postpartum shedding so to have a reconstructor mask that's going to help strengthen my hair is a major thing for me right now. <laughs> How about you but I love the way my hair felt it like gave me like a slight tingle not overwhelming but I love like I had this clean feeling but my hair still felt nice and slippery and smooth so I knew it wasn't going to be dry because we need moisture. I have highlights, so I need moisture. Same. <laughs> so that is how we washed our hair in the shower. Right now, my hair is still damp. How's your hair right now? My hair is damp. Um, I'm going to have to wet it because, you know, I like to apply my products to soaking wet hair. Like Definitely. So best for applying products for me because uh, it's a volume. I need volume. Yes. So we both have a similar curl pattern. We're both like 3B, 3C. Um, my hair is very lightweight, low porosity. So I can't use anything that's too heavy. Um, but all the products we're using are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. And you guys asked me, what are some great affordable drugstore products? And that would be all the Shea Moisture products affordable, available at, at drugstores. These are at Walmart. Really easy to find. Right. And my followers are always asking me how they can get rid of frizz without weighing their hair down. So that's why today I wanted to show how I style with some of my favorite Jamaican black castor oil products because this line is perfect, especially for processed and chemical treated hair. And it works so good when you use the Power Games line and the shampoo first because this kind of preps your hair for the styling. And if you Definitely. don't prep your hair right in the shower first, the styling is never going to turn out for you. Yeah, so let's start styling, show them exactly what we do and answer some of the questions. One of the first questions I got was, do you detangle before you shampoo? For me, that's a definite no. I only detangle while I have conditioner in my hair or hair mask. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if it's possible, but for someone who would want to start the detangling process maybe before shampooing, I was going to mention that this tea rinse can also be used as a pre-poo. So you can make, apply this to your hair, maybe spray it with a little bit of water, apply that, start working that through so that it can go ahead and give your hair that moisture before you go in and start shampooing. I would always recommend detangling while you have a conditioner with good slip, like the Shea Moisture products. And then I also like to apply 
product on my hair while it's wet and or damp. Never apply product to dry hair. That's just not gonna do anything for you. you so right now we're both applying more water. Just to start, it's just water in these bottles. But a tip for anyone when you're getting out of the shower and you want to keep your hair wet, just put your hair in a shower cap until you're ready to apply your styling products. I call this wet plopping. We're going to show you that technique later, but yes. it's a great way to keep your hair wet so you don't have to. <laughs> I've never wet plopped before. Did you invent wet plopping or did you just like, is it just your thing? Well, I, I, I hadn't seen it before I did it. So uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think maybe I did. Uh -huh. It's a technique that I've seen a lot of people using, and I, it's definitely coming in handy. So, so my hair split. For when I apply my styling products, I actually like to split my hair into three sections to apply my leave-in. I don't know about you. I have a very lazy routine. I'm a one-and-done, one-product, slap it on, like, I only have so much time kind of styling. <laughs> so for my one-and-gun, like, one holy grail product that I've been using for forever is the classic Shea Moisture curl enhancing smoothie. This is one of the first products I've ever reviewed on my channel, period. That's so products I've ever seen by Shea Moisture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to style my hair using only one styling product because it is possible. You don't always have to cocktail when people make really good products. So what are you using today? Well, yeah, I'm a cop. I like, I like my cocktails. So yes. I'm going to be using the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in, just a small amount. And I'm going to follow it up with their Jamaican black castor oil foam. And then Ooh. Hold at the end. I'm going to be using their Max Hold gel. Love this gel so much. Wow. Oh, I'm jealous. I haven't tried that one yet, but I love a strong hold gel. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to switch things up. I'm going to do, I'm going to care a little bit more today and try your styling techniques. I usually just put my hair into two and then just rub it in and go. But what do you want me to do today? All right, so what you're going to first do, and this is going to help with any money if you ever finish your hair and you notice that you're always flat at the top or you have that triangle shape, try sectioning off the crown area first. Okay. Stop here at the bottom and then work at the top last. And this is going to help with volume and it's going to help with movement at the end so your hair is easier to flip from side to side. Okay, this was one of the most asked questions that we got was how do we get rid of like it being flat at my root or frizzy on the top of my head. So this is the answer to that. So is this enough hair? Yes, that's plenty of hair. Yep, perfect. All right, put this I got lots of questions about volume and definition. Okay. So going to the definition while you're in the shower, after you follow up, you, I know you said you use the Power Greens Reconstructor. That'd be a great time to train your curls, twist mm -hmm. your hair together, and that's going to actually train your curls. So while that deep conditioner is working in, your curls are getting the idea of what you want them to do. So that's how I get definition. Okay. And can you explain uh, train your curls to those that don't uh, work out their curls, what that means? <laughs> well, you know, me and Bianca are very big on deep conditioning. And a lot of people just apply the deep conditioner and put their hair in a ball. But us curly girls, we never really have our hair all together like that. We wear it out and our curls do their own thing. So mm -hmm. while your deep conditioner is sitting, if you just simply take your hair and twist to train, mm -hmm. it allows you to make sure that your deep conditioner is getting evenly applied, but it's also training your curls because curls have memory. So they're going to remember that's what they need to do. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I'm going to grab my first styler, which is the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie. Uh, it's a very like creamy consistency, but it's also not too thick for my fine hair. So this is like the godsend, uh, smoothie for me. <laughs> All right, everybody always talks about my volume, but my hair is fine too. So it's all about how much product to use. So for me, I need the moisture from this leave-in, but I can't use too much. So I have to make sure I don't use too much and I keep the application of my mid-lengths and ends. Okay, so I can go ahead and use my prey hand te technique? Yeah, you know, gotta do it. But the Power Greens conditioner was really great for detangling. Like that slip was amazing. It really was. And I left it on for about 20 minutes and my hair was extra shiny after. Right. Side one, do you scrunch? I scrunch, but I scrunch after I apply on both sides. And I also would recommend the smoothie for both fine and thick hair. Like it really works well for a lot of different people and hair types. So after you're done with their sections, you can go ahead and work into your top section. So what I'm going to do is I apply the leave-in in these sections. And then as I apply my other two products, I, I do my hair how you usually do it with my hair just together. And for me, this makes sure that the leave-in is nicely and applied to everything. So I have moisture and no frizz. And then the other products are going to be for definition and hold. And I'm just going to stick to my one smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm telling you, I like to keep my hair, my hair routines as simple as possible. So many people get like over their curly hair because they say it's too much work. So I like to show that you can do it in a simple way. Yes, I would say for me, I do these extra steps because I'm all about my definition and I want my curls to last as long as possible. Yeah. But this, that's the reason why I'm doing this. You don't necessarily have to. If you want it, we can skip this leave-in and just use this Jamaican black casserole foam because it does have so much moisture. It's really yeah. up to you. And to me, that's the fun part about curls. So I don't get to leave in all the time and people think I'm crazy. <laughs> no, I, when I found that out, I was just like, oh, but I have to say I tried it and you're right. As long as the product that you're styling with is delivering that moisture you need, then you can skip the leave in. So yes, just make sure you keep directing this hair all the way to the front. We're literally doing the same piece at the same time. <laughs> Yes, direct your hair the way you want it to go. If you, as you're smoothing, if you happen to feel any areas that need a little bit more love, go in with just a little bit more product and focus it just on those curls. Yeah, this is probably better because sometimes my hair does get flat at the top. So when you kind of like style it up, mm -hmm. part forward, so when you flip it back, you're going to get that nice volume, especially if you have bangs. Do you have bangs now that you cut your hair? Um, well, they're like medium bangs. So medium. I was actually show a little trick that I do with my bangs <laughs> um, after my hair dries these little bobby pin to uh -huh. create a bang. <laughs> All right, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and move on and start applying my foam. And I might be done with my creams. <laughs> I don't want to apply too much product to my roots because that also is going to weigh down my hair, but I also don't want it to be frizzy up top. So I'm just going to lightly kind of grab from like here and just make sure I got some product. But that is one way you could accidentally weigh down your hair if you put too much product on your scalp or your roots. The product should be for the lengths of your hair. And believe it or not, a lot of people think, oh, I have frizz, pile, 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 pile that product up and it'll get rid of frizz. But it's, no, your the frizz is your hair looking for moisture. So yeah. if you're moisturizing your hair in the shower, then when you're styling, you won't have to worry about the frizz. Someone also asked me, um, what are some lightweight products? So I don't know if I would consider the smoothie a lightweight product, but it is lighter than like some very heavy thick creams, like a happy medium. But like what Felicia is using, mousse would be a great option for a lightweight product. Yes, that's why I chose the foam because it's lightweight and it's a little bit more forgiving than creams and other thicker products. So maybe even a beginner, if they use the foam to style and they do happen to use a little too much, they don't have to worry about their hair being too weighed down. And if you just keep scrunching, the foam starts to release and your hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Which is what I always want. Bigger and bigger hair. The bigger, the better. <laughs> and once you're styling, another question that we got was, what about if my hair isn't like as defined in certain areas or it's frizzier? Like Felicia mentioned, curl training. You could just get a curl and just kind of coil it around your finger and that'll give it some extra definition. I'm also going to share with you one of my super perfect curl tips while Felicia is still applying more products. <laughs> so to get a perfect ringlet, what you could do is let's say, let's say I'm not happy with this little curl right here, even though it is already popping because of the smoothie. Um, all you do is put your product on the curl. Then you grab a brush and your finger. Put your brush here, wrap it around your finger, and brush down. This will work with any brush, any comb, doesn't matter. One, two, three. It makes a perfect little ringlet. So right now it's pretty loose, but once this dries, it's gonna go like that's going to make a perfect curl. So you either could finger curl, coil, like uh, Felicia said, or if it like really needs some help, go ahead and travel with your brush and you will have a perfect curl. All right. Okay. So what do you have in your hair now? Wrapping everything up. I'm finishing up with my products. This Max Hold gel, it's Max Hold for us. You only need a little bit, but I love to finish up with this because it gives my hair the shine that I need. And, you know, I do like to do a lot of fluffing at the end. So I need a little bit of pull. So I'm just going to go in and just scrunch this through. And this is going to bring all my sections together that I was styling in. Is it humid where you live? Um, yes. North Carolina gets very humid. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So someone asked, uh, what do we do if we live in a humid area or my hair is really frizzy? So I would suggest a gel, wouldn't you? Yes. And what I would say is if you know you're going to be outside a lot, 
just don't release the cast as much as you normally would. So let the humidity do that for you. So maybe, maybe, you know, I know we don't like hard curls, but just let your hair just be a little hard, just a little, so that that humidity starts to release it throughout the day. Yeah, you got to start off with that slight crunch. And then as you get on with your end of your day, it's going to get softer and softer and softer. So don't be afraid of the crunch. <laughs> Give me gel. I scrunch out my excess water and product. I just used a little bit of the gel. That's all I needed. Okay. And so now I'm just going to sketch, scrunch just a little bit. This is going to speed up the drying process for me. And it lets me kind of get an idea. I like to kind of examine my hair before I start the diffusing process, just to see if any areas need me to go in with a little bit more love. <laughs> And my hair actually doesn't feel too, like, dripping wet anymore. If your hair's still dripping wet, definitely get a microfiber towel, not a regular towel, or a cotton t-shirt, and then just kind of scrunch like Felicia just did. But now I want you to show me this wet plopping technique that everyone talks about that you do. I've been so excited to show you that. So what you're doing with wet plopping is one or two shower caps. Now, okay. I say to you, if your hair is still dripping, sometimes you have drip, but our hair isn't really soaking right now, so we can get yeah. away with just one. Okay. The reason why I do this is it's going to help with anyone who is having problems getting that definition at your root, or if you feel like your hair, once you apply your styling products, it just instantly frizzes up when you start the drying process. Mm -hmm. Let your curls kind of set a little bit in the shower cap first, then take it off and begin your drying, whether it's air drying or diffusing. Okay. Are we just putting it on normally or? <laughs> just put it in here. And you okay. want to really plop your hair. So you want your hair for volume. You want all your hair to be directed up. So you're going to give your hair a flip and then just kind of tuck it into the cap. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's okay that all the curls are like on the very top of my head, right? You want them at the top of your head, yes. Okay. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll even look in my shower cap and I'll look for all that definition. So yes, you okay. want your curls at the top of your head. And if your makeup wasn't done right now, we could go do our makeup. You can go feed the baby, wash some dishes, whatever you want to do until you're ready to finish with your hair. Okay, and how long do we leave it like this? Um, I usually do about 10 minutes. There's no really set time. Um, just as long as you give your curls just like I said, time to take form. Um, we don't apply products to our scalp. So right now, this is letting just a little bit of that watered down product get to the rest of your hair so you have no frizz at the crown. And you're going to notice, like I said, root to tip definition. So I think this is the end of both of our styling. We don't want to bore you guys with 30 minutes of diffusing, but um, do you air dry or diffuse usually? What's your deal? I'm all about diffusing. I diffuse with cool air, high speed. Yeah, I do high fan speed, also like medium heat. So I'm gonna let this sit for like 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna diffuse and then come back to show you the final results. And we're back fully diffused. Your hair looks so good. I was about to say, I'm <laughs> finishing. Oh my goodness. And this is the first time I've seen your new cut. So I'm loving the volume. They're really big curls. It looks so, so good. Thank you. These products like really gave me like the most definition. Like I'm seeing your ringlets. Oh my goodness. And your hair looks so long. Yes. The, the smoothie is just like the OG favorite that I can always rely on when I need a good hair day. I have That's these perfect little, yeah, just one product. Um, but I haven't even fluffed it out yet. Have you? Nope. Okay, so our next step is bigger is better. We like that volume, so we're going to grab a pick. I'm going to actually add a little spritz of the Coconut Hibiscus Hold and Shine Mist. This Ooh. is a little trick of mine. If you find that when you fluff your roots, sometimes you get a little frizz. Yeah. So just a little spritz and then go, and it'll help kind of smooth your hair along as you go. Oh, see, Felicia always has the tips. And I do think wet plopping works. Sometimes my hair is just like stuck to my scalp but I'm actually getting some more volume up top. So I might need to incorporate that into my routine. Hey, I'm so happy you liked it. I'm telling yeah. you, wet popping really comes in handy. And like I said, even when after your conditioning, you can just pop your hair a little and let your hair just kind of soak in that moisture. Oh, your hair is getting bigger and bigger. I love it. <laughs> just keep fluffing. Just keep fluffing. <laughs> I just cannot believe the definition that I got. Like, it's amazing. I love it. looks so good. Yeah, we got to do the whole 360 spin. Oh. And this is me without getting a haircut in so long. And now that my hair is getting longer, it, uh, it's getting a little harder to get volume, but it's looking nice and big today. So here's how mine looks from the back. 360 view. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I can't see you, so I'm trusting you. It looks good. Look, trust me. I'm telling you, it looks good. All right, here's mine. <laughs> Yes, it looks so healthy too. 
Loving the volume, the bounce, the shine. So that is how Felicia and I style our hair with all the great and amazing Shea Moisture products. Once again, we use the Power Greens line and I also cocktailed it with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, the Coconut Hibiscus line. I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line and in the shower, I use the Power Greens line and I just want to say, you guys have to make sure you try this tea rinse. It's so amazing. It's amazing. (laughs) <laughs> and not only are they amazing, they're also super affordable. They're all available at Walmart, so make sure you guys check them out. And we also want to know, what are your favorite Shea Moisture products that you like to cocktail with, with the Power Greens, maybe with the Coconut Hibiscus? Let us know your Holy Grail Shea Moisture products. We also give you curly hair tips all the time, really big on hair health, so make sure you follow both of us on Instagram. Mine is at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I post curly hair videos on YouTube every Sunday. And my Instagram is Hi Felicia, and my YouTube is also Hi Felicia, and I'm always sharing videos on how to keep the curls healthy and how to get the best results whenever you're styling. So thank you so much, Shay Moisture, for bringing us together. I miss you, Felicia. I've been wanting to do this for so long. <laughs> so that is our Wash Day Live. Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. 